is Mornings LA Late. From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning with incredible great news about your stocks, your bonds, your recession, your housing market crash of 2022, your recession of 2023, and your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In today's recording from the live from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we go over the latest to breaking news about this economy and how it impacts your wallet and those big checks I gotcha for every U.S. state. A voice stimulus check is landed in every U.S. state by direct deposit for membership of this viewership of this channel. I'm going to go over those incredible checks later in this recording. Yes, a voice stimulus check in every U.S. state, and you deserve it. And I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks in every U.S. state. Up to $80,000 a person, you deserve it. And we're going to go over all the details of those checks in today's recording. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. In today's recording live on air, we're going to go over the latest details about the labor numbers released minutes ago. From the Department of Labor, guess what? They were horrible. You and I, over the last week or two weeks, have been talking in the live chats about the unemployment situation in the Midwest, in the Southeast, in the North England. And today, the numbers that came in were exactly what you and I have been talking about. It is not a good situation, and it shows the downward spiral of this U.S. economy. That's good news for the Build Back Better Act. We'll go over more about those incredible clusters of checks in the Build Back Better Act one at a time and a preview of tonight's Evening LA broadcast. Then we have breaking news from the ECB, the European Central Bank, announcing what it's going to do with those interest rate spikes. I have the latest details on that front today. Then we have a potential deal on oil. We'll be turning to what's going on on that front. We have one of the major industries really imploding as the downward spiral of the U.S. economy is continuing. All those details and more in a big broadcast. Over this one-hour broadcast, we're going to show you those big checks you can get. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, stay with me over this incredible broadcast. We have those big numbers on labor, or at least minutes ago. It's June 9, 2022. It's morning to LA. It's live on air. And it starts right now. And good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day for June, day for June 9th. Oh, Lord. It has the audio, it has the audio. It wants to kill us. Uh, you know, uh, you it's know just, what? It's just, it's let's play some music. <laughs> it's a big day. It's a big day, day for June 9th, 2022. And it's the latest issue of that issue. Uh, uh, we'll we'll get we'll to those details, details in just a second, but let's try to clear up the audio and let's see if it works. In today's recording, we have a lot of money to go over and the latest details of the Wall Street and Main Street are huge as the latest numbers are released in the morning. Obviously, I will clear up in a second. What you need to know in today's recording is that there's a big money and a big money at issue is in every U.S. state. We're going to go over all that money in just a second. But let's turn back to the things you need to know as we start a new day. And probably the audio will not clear up in just a second. What's at issue today is that the labor numbers released minutes ago are horrible, horrible. And these labor numbers show that the unemployment situation is staggering across the board. That's why you need to get four stimulus check in every U.S. state. We're going to go over those incredible checks in just a second. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. And the audio cleared up. <laughs> there we go. Our tricks work. You know, it's a great day. And I'm so excited you're here. We got a lot to go over in this major recording this morning for 9th, 2022. Here we go. The Build Back Better Act has to support a bad economic data. If there was any worse economic data, it was the data was released this morning. Department of Labor, you know what it is. Thursday morning, the new jobless claims and how bad were they? You've been watching me over the last few months. You've been watching me over the last few days. And I said this number cannot come over 200,000. 
Why am I been saying this for several weeks? Why? Because before COVID hit, we were at 200,000 jobless claims before we entered the first week of March 2020, before COVID hit. Then we shot up to 1 million. Now that we're out of COVID, we need to have this number down about 188. The problem started last Thursday when the jobless claims, which of course is the week before, came in at 200,000. Not good. And that was a continuation of the week before, 200,000. Not good. So I said, I need to see this number today coming in at 188. And what happened? If you're on the live chat right now, high or lower, higher or lower, do you think the number came in higher than 200,000 or lower than 200,000? Let me give you a preview before I answer that question for you. In the last two weeks, you and I have been doing an empirical study because you are the eyes and ears of the American people. You are in the Midwest, the South, Southeast, the New England area. You're all across the country. And you've been saying LA Light, overwhelmingly you've been saying this, LA Light, I go into the big box retailers and they used to be three checkers for the checkout stand. And now there's zero or one. There is less. Moreover, you've been unanimously saying that you're talking to friends and family, neighbors and, and loved ones, and they say they're being laid off. So should this number be higher or lower? Based upon your guidance over the last two weeks, it should be higher. And it was. The number released by the Department of Labor this morning was astronomically through the roof. The number surged from 200,000 last week, which I told you was unsustainable, should be about 188,000 new jobless claims. It surged to 230,000 new jobless claims for the week ending June 4th, released, of course, this morning, June 9th. This is horrible. Dow was expecting an estimate of 210. So it's interesting. The Dow is looking at the same thing you're looking at. More unemployment, a little bit higher than the week before, but I said I didn't want that number. I know I expected the number, but I did not expect 200,000, 230,000. So if you said more in the live chat, you got it right. Now, why is this so important? Why is this so is this important for many, many reasons? First, it's important for your forced stimulus check. You got to get this forced stimulus check. I got to lay it in this video for you. Because you may be a person who has a job now. You may not be a person having a job very soon. Layoffs are happening. I'm going to go over those layoffs in just a second. That forced stimulus check is in every USA. You can't pass up this stimulus check. Because guess what? I do not have FPUC anymore for you. I do not have PUA for you anymore. I do not have EIDL for you anymore. They do not exist in the U.S. government anymore. These four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are huge. Step one, become a member. Step two, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. And step three, get those YouTube alerts. Make sure that you have your alerts set up correctly. I'll be going over that later with you because those checks are upwards of $80,000 and you need it. A new report released yesterday said, 70% of Americans who got the big stimulus from the first, second, and third stimulus packages still have money saved up. That's what I'm teaching and training you to do right now. Get every penny I can get you right now and save it because in 90 days from now, it's going to be horrible. Just about an hour and a half before you see me right now live on air, we had morning's countdown. And in that live chat, I jumped in there. And there was a viewer who said less than 90 minutes ago that her son works at Sam's Club. And that they have announced 300 layoffs at that Sam's Club. I do not know if it's in a particular location or if it's a region or if it's a nationwide situation. But that was just 90 minutes ago before you're seeing me lie on, on air. What happened before that? Before that, Jim Cramer was broadcasting from San, San Francisco. And he reported that there's massive layoffs and massive hiring freezes in the tech sector of Silicon Valley right this minute. This is what I've been telling you for about two months. It started with Walmart, and it started with Snap. Walmart, of course, that big box retailer you go to, they said, we have too many employees on the floor. We're not selling enough merchandise to justify this many employees. They did not announce layoffs, but that's layoff language. Then, of course, Walmart owns Sam's Clubs. Then we had Snap, the technology company here in Southern California, saying, we have too many employees. We're not going to be hiring that many more. We'll hire a total of 500 the entire rest of this year. And then the big news was last Saturday. As Elon Musk first announced the first corporate uh, proclamation of hiring freezes, saying, we have too many employees on staff. At Tesla, we're laying off 10% of you, and we're hiring freezes. Now, 
the comments we're learning today from viewers, from you, from uh, from Jim Cramer, from my analysis, from all of us, is that a lot of these hiring freezes are not public statements yet. This is important. A lot of the corporations do not publicly want to say hiring freeze, but insiders now see from the corporations or meeting with the corporate heads that they do have hiring freezes. Why is this so important? You gotta get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You gotta get them. You gotta get them. Repeat, there is no FPUC anymore. There is no PUA. There is no EIDL. There is not all the wonders of that big unemployment stimulus of 2020 where you get you know $800 a week anymore. None of that exists. And if you get laid off, you're going to need this money. Now, the point of why I'm saying this very strongly right now is that you qualify for these four stimulus checks even if you're employed or even if you don't have a job and if you're retired. Why would you wait? It's sort of like a nest egg I'm teaching you. I'm teaching this this because the situation in 90 days from now is going to be very dire. That same viewer who was in the live chat 90 minutes ago on Morning's Countdown said, you know what, you're right about that 90 days. And then she explained the situation with her son and, and Sam's Clubs with the 300 employees laid off. She said, you're absolutely spot on. I have been really spot on on my analysis of where this economy is going for a while. Last spring, I said that inflation was going to come in 8% in December and not come down. It was not going to be transitory. No one else was saying that. Everyone was saying 3% and temporary. No. Now, as we sit here today, the inflation rate is still tracking about 8%. That is why the European Central Bank, which is the ECB, minutes ago announced that it's doing some interest rate hikes to bring down that inflation. And those interest rate hikes, they are now saying, is half. And then quarter quarter at the moment, they don't meet in August. So they're talking about half and then quarter quarter. Now, for the United States, I believe that the Federal Reserve is going to do half half and then maybe a quarter. A new report out today says that the Federal Reserve is real, among uh, corporate America, says the Federal Reserve is messing up this economy and will continue to mess it up royally as we go into a recession. Let's look at the importance of that with the Build Back Better Act. The importance of that with the Build Back Better Act is that you got to get every check that's available right now, and you cannot wait for the Build Back Better Act. By waiting for the Build Back Better Act, you are basically setting yourself up for a situation where you may not have the cash liquidity you need in 90 days from now and say, where is the Build Back Better Act? Translation, get every check that I have for you right now. Don't wait. Those checks that are available right now, you need to grab them. And we're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state coming up late in this recording. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get the incredible newsletter that has those checks in there. Let me go over the economic data that came in on top of those jobs numbers minutes ago. There's a lot of breaking news this morning for July 9th, 2022. I'm so glad you're tuning in live with me. All right, so the number of continuing unemployment uh, claims, so these are people who were unemployed the week before and are still unemployed, uh, is, is unchanged at 1.3 million or 1.35 million. This is the number of jobs being created in the United States is shrinking dramatically. It was supposed to come in at 390,000. It came in a quarter of that number. Basically, people are being laid off and there are no new jobs being created. Why is this so important? This is so important. Because the analysts elsewhere have been getting this very wrong for over 60 days. In the last 60 days, I said analysts are running this fake narrative. I ran the quotes. I ran the quotes last weekend. It was a brand new fresh quote from someone who says, no one's being laid off. Ridiculous. Ridiculous quote released last weekend. It's a quote from that day. No one's a financial analyst. No one's being laid off. Wrong. The next quote was, uh, business is really good. Wrong. The day before was corporate small mom and pops are having problems surviving and they're closing the doors that's why the new jobless claims are so high and with all that false uh, analysis out there then finally today there's some really on point analysis thank goodness a lot of corporate heads have been polled in a new report and they basically say we're in big trouble we're in big trouble first we have the situation for fintech what is fintech it is a small banks that you'd use online. A lot of you use them to get your second stimulus check. We went over at the time, you know, Chime and Cash App and all these fintech players. They're now having major problems. A lot of them are worried about their valuations. That's the first situation. And the other part of the situation is that the business risk at hand is very clear. Now, a new report released today was among a series 
of CFOs. And these CFOs are heads of major uh, banks and major corporations. And what did they say in this new report released minutes ago? 41%, 40% say that the situation is very uh, bad and it's being caused by these higher interest rates, this inflation. They then said that 54% of them believe that the Federal Reserve will not get inflation under control. <laughs> That's what I say. Then 77% of them say that we're going into recession the first quarter of next year. Here we go again with what I've been saying. Since February this year, I say we're going into a recession starting next year. When I started reporting about recession in February this year, people looked at me like said, is he crazy? I said, no, I'm not crazy. We're going to recession. No one wanted to talk about recession except me in February this year. Then Deutsche Bank was the first U.S. bank to actually use the R word in April. Even last week when Jamie Dimon was talking about the storm down the road or hurricane down the road, 90 days out, he does not want to use the word recession. He's actually asked the question. He says, I don't want to use the word recession. A lot of major corporations don't want to use the word recession because it scares the socks off of people. But here's what 77% of CFOs say. We're going to recession the first half of next year. Now, here's an interesting number, and this I'm really shocked to read. None of the CFOs polled in this new report said there will be a recession the year after or the second half of next year. So they're thinking a recession for six months? <laughs> what? So 77% think that there's a recession next year like I do, but they think it's a six-month recession? A six-month recession? Uh, that makes no sense. I just don't understand that at all. Um, brace yourself with the words from Jamie Dimon last Wednesday. And then uh, the forecast for negative GDP growth is very much an issue, according to the Atlanta Federal Reserve, who released a data just days ago. Negative GDP growth is, of course, recession. That's what recession is. Um, one of the issues is that 36% said they would decrease their spending right away. 46% said you need to maintain your spending levels. And then 54% of them said you really need to be careful of cash. My takeaway is cash is king. Cash is king. What you're hearing tonight, this morning on Mornings LA, brand new, is cash is king. You got to hoard cash and you got to save the cash. Whatever cash you have in the bank, save it. Whatever cash I have for you, grab it. And you can't sit around and worry about it. Why? Because cash does not devalue based upon the events of today. The events of today start with the ECB, the European Central Bank, that announced it's raising interest rates. But there is good news on the other front for interest rates and your debt. This is breaking news this morning. If you have medical bill debt, the U.S. government will, uh, pursuant to three of the major credit unions, change policies starting on July. If, credit, if, if your credit score is dependent upon medical debt appearing on the credit score, that will change starting July of uh, just a starting of July of this year, and the remainder of it, 70% of it, will disappear by next year. Whoa, what's going on? Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion announced today that effective July 1, 2022, your medical debt will not appear on your credit report. This is great news for a lot of you. And then the, all of it will disappear completely by next year. This is a wonderful move for consumers and long-term overdue, says Jeff Smunnan, co-founder of healthcare.com. Small, a small debt of $25 on your credit report could negatively impact your credit score just for the reporting of it. So let's say you're behind, you never paid a dentist, you know, $10. <laughs> and he reported to a credit union, darn him. <laughs> then guess what? You have a negative credit score because of a $10 uh, you know, brushing from a dentist. Yeah, that is really great news today. But the better news is that the four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. What's at issue? What's at issue is that these are monster checks. You qualify for them and you need to get them. Step one is subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Tonight on Eating's I like we're going to detail in specific form of what's going on with that gasoline. But let me tell you where gasoline is today and why it's actually getting worse. If you thought gasoline could be worse, it's getting worse. 
Gasoline international Brent crude is hovering at about 121 today a barrel. The worst number we've ever seen in the history of this channel. When we look at the price in the United States, it's gone up a lot in just three days. It's now nearly $5 US average unleaded. It was 440, I think, at the earlier the part of this week. I mean, this is just what Wednesday. No, this is Thursday. This is just Thursday. I mean, just look how it's moved up 60 cents in just a few days. In England, a new report released today says, for an English family, the price to fill up your vehicle in England is now 150 dollars. Ouch. Do you think people are going to afford that? No, they can't afford that. That is why you got to get a forced stimulus check. In 90 days from now, there's going to be a major stimulus stampede on this channel as people are going to be laid off. People are going to see that this, the labor situation has dramatically changed. They're going to see other industries like housing, auto, and, and travel and leisure really go downward spiraling. And step one is to subscribe. Step two is to become a member. Step three is to get that metal newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks in every U.S. state. You deserve these checks. What's important to remember is the eligibility. You qualify for these checks. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, go get it. If you rent, if you own, go get it. If you have children, go get it. Don't wait because these checks are available now and you don't want to wait to learn whether they're around 90 days from now. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible sums of money, become a member, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As America's most beloved show on mornings live on air about your financial news continues from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. Become a member, and I will see you back after the commercial break with more about these incredible checks. But first, here's a little bit about the Members Community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a beautiful day for June 9th, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Did you become a member during the commercial break? You better, because that force stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And in the second half of this video, I'm going to show you how to get that huge check. You don't want to wait around. You want to get those big checks today. The great news is that the money available in every U.S. state you qualify for generally and it's monster sums of money. It'll give you financial independence for months to come, and you can hoard that cash right now, even if you have a job or don't have a job. If you're in a financial situation that's good or bad, you can get the money right now. Here's what's at issue. Eligibility is so important when you do stimulus, and this money you generally qualify for. Single, go get it. Married, married couple, go get it. If you have children, go get it. If you don't have children, if you're on benefits, if you don't have benefits, go get it. Rent or own absolutely incredible back in the month of march viewers asked me la can you find us some stimulus checks because there was no deal done by the congress with the build back better act there's still no deal done today you need money you need money right now imagine how much you're going to need money in 90 days from now imagine how much money you're going to need when we go in recession imagine how much money you're going to need as the downward spiral of this economy is going to hit so many industries across the board you're going to really need it then so if you think you sort of need it now but you're not really sure 
then just go get it because in 90 days, you're really going to need the money even more pronounced. And those incredible checks are in every USA. We're going to go over the first of these many checks. I have found them for you, and I now give them a lettering system. The first one is check A. Then we follow letter after letter thereafter. Let's look at that for the first, first check right now. And that first check is astronomical. That first check is $6,500 to $12,000. It's a forcible check in every U.S. state. $75,000 or less, a single individual, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you're married with children, without children, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits or, or not, go get it. Step one is to become a member. Step two is go into that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and go down to check A. When you see that check A, there's a link. You go right into the nationwide website, then choose your state, then choose the homeowner's weatherizing grant and pounce get that incredible wonderful check but you're not gonna stop there yet because you're gonna get this check as well fifteen eighty thousand dollars look at these massive sums of money i don't play games i'm here to get you monster sums of money fifteen to eighty thousand dollars imagine how long you could be financially independent by watching this channel by becoming a member with an eighty thousand dollar check it would probably hold you over for at least a year or maybe two years it is huge it is a forcible check in every u.s state Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. Rent, uh, excuse me, if you are on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. How do you get that incredible check? Step one, go down in the membership newsletter until you find check B. Then pounce. Go get that application in a file. And you're not done there yet because you're also going to get check C. Wow, look at all this money I'm giving you. Yeah, it's a lot of money. This is a monthly stimulus check on average, $2,000 over 12 months on average. Incredible. It is rent. It is utilities. It is mortgage assistance. Yes, it's for my renters. Yes, it's for my homeowners. And we've been doing this for a very long time. How do you get check C? You go in the membership newsletter. You go down to where I have check C, and it's going to teach you the 15 places to call, what to say, when to say it, how to say it, and where to pounce. All in that incredible membership newsletter. And the success stories of that check C date back to the earliest days of this channel because we've been doing this check C for nearly over two years. It was first called Purple on this channel, then it became Third Symbols, and then it became now Check C. Look at the success story for rent. You can do this as well. You want $30,000 of your rent paid for? Go get it. If you want $15,000 of your utilities paid for, like Mark's brother in law, go get it. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars lifetime because of this channel for Snap. Go get it. Combos, yes. Nisi was at $23,000. Now she's at $40,000, $50,000. Mark was at $32,000. How high has Mark gone? Now from $32,000 to $166,000. Do you want $166,000? Become a member. Here you go. Let's look at the numbers for that success story from Mark. He added an additional 19000 brought him to 50000 Then he got went to 100000 Then he got check B at 66000 He went to $166,000. Lorraine, she's in all the live chats every night, like Nisi. She keeps on getting money. She was at 105 Now she's at 120 This is what you got to do. You know, the, the, the narrative of Nisi and Lorraine and Mark and Margaret and Johnny... All these people who listen, listen, learn to keep on going back and getting money every few days. Really so important. Why? You know what it's like? It's sort of like knowing that this is summer and that when people are cold in the winter, they're all going to want that heating oil paid for. You won't have money to pay that heating oil bill. Well, if there's money right now from the nonprofits for other things that you need around the house paid for, Get that money right now because you know what's going to happen in December. We talk about 90 days out for now, which is that hour inspired this U.S. economy. But this country has a cycle every year. The cycle is in the winter months, bills go up higher because you have heating oil and all that cold weather climate bills. And then nonprofits, their funding generally ends at the end of the year and they get replenished in January. So we're in mid-cycle. We're a good place right now. Why would you not get all this incredible money right now before the downward spiral of this economy across the board? Yesterday, we had a good laugh on this channel. As I brought a new expression in, oh, I think it was on Afternoon's LA. It was called, uh, let's see if I can say it right, uh, Save a Cactus, 
and get a stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> Save a cactus, get a stimulus. There are some viewers out of Arizona in recent days on this channel who want to hug that cactus. What do they want to do? Hug the cactus and say, there's no stimulus in Arizona. And there is Chuck A in Arizona. You don't want $12,000. There's Chuck B in Arizona. You don't want $80,000. There's Chuck C in Arizona. There is that monthly stimulus check. You don't want that. But you do want to hug a cactus and say there's no money. Fine. If you want to hug a cactus, I'm going to let you go hug the cactus. I can't make a, I can't make a person not want to hug the cactus. My takeaway is for it. Save the cactus. Get a stimulus. <laughs> save the cactus. Get a stimulus. Yeah, ultimately, this cactus is not going to hug you back in 90 days from now. <laughs> the cactus is not going to hug you back in 90 days from now. And in 90 days from now, what is this economy going to look like? It's not going to look good. Let me tell you a little bit about more about this data that came in today because this is big and that data will be featured more tonight on E News LA in prime time. These jobless claims numbers uh, of 229,000, which are the week, not this week, but the week before, is exactly what you and I have been talking. There's people losing jobs and we do not have the corporations yet announcing massive layoffs but they will. This is what we've learned from this channel over the last year as a family. You and I see the data before it's announced, and we have the best data here because you're the eyes and ears. In the case of unemployment, let me show you how this happens. First, I asked you, do you see people being laid off? Yeah, I do. Do you see less people in the store? Yeah, I do. Do you see your friends and neighbors seeing laid off? Yeah, I do. But if I go to corporate earnings and corporate announcements from, uh, from Fortune 500 companies, they say stuff sort of vaguely, like we sort of don't have that many, we have too many employees. They say it very vaguely. That's why those Elon Musk comments from last week were important, because no corporation said, we're laying off 10%. We are doing hiring freezes. Now today, it's a month later that we and I have been having this discussion about the layoffs. Suddenly, people like Jim Cramer on Live On Air says, you know what? I talked to Silicon Valley and they are laying off and they have hiring freezes. And this is big because this means he spoke to them, but they've not publicly announced it. This is where situations change very dramatically. I want to tell you what the reality check is. And this is very, very important. The reality check is for that employee who's working at a store and is in a universe of comfort and security thinking, oh, you know what? I'll just, you know, do the minimal I can do to keep this job because, you know, there's a lot of jobs off out here. If the, if the boss wants to lay me off, then let me lay him off because I'll find another job. And if he lays me off, then I'll go get some FPUC and PUA. And guess what happens? The boss lays him off, maybe. And then the person says, let me go find another job because there's a lot of jobs. And this time I'm going to ask for $10 more an hour. Not happening. May not find another job. Certainly will not be able to make those salary demands. Yeah. The salary demand mentality of, of employees right now is, is delay. Delay. People that are getting laid off are suddenly thinking they'll find another job and increase the salary demand. No, no, no. They may not find another job, as viewers are now saying in the live chats. That's the first situation. Next, they think that people are hiring and desperate for employees. Why? Because corporate America has not announced the massive layoffs yet. Once they say we're laying off 300 employees and, and Sam's Clubs, as that viewer said in the live chat, did not publicly announce it, but the, the viewer had learned it from her son, that's going to start to snowball. Then they say, wait a second, people are laying some people off? Uh, maybe I better really keep this job. And then the reality check, because I said this uh, throughout the year, that people do not know that the stimulus packages of 2020 do not exist anymore, will hit like a tsunami. People really think that FPC, that $600 a week that goes on top of your weekly unemployment claims, still exists. It doesn't. They think that you can get those uh, PEUC, those extra weeks of UI. You can get unemployment for many more weeks. I'll just stay on unemployment for, you know, 80 weeks. No, it doesn't exist anymore. What if you're an independent contractor? What if you work for Uber and Lyft and you get laid off? No, 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 it doesn't exist anymore. And so this is a changing narrative, and people are, the, the consumer... The employee is going to get ambushed. They're going to get ambushed because they're relying upon data from February, which is no longer an issue, and they're also going to be potentially relying on analysts that have wrong statements, wrong analysis in the last few weeks. Jay Powell is really the topic of discussion in this new report that I featured early in this recording, and his, his discussion is so important for your SS300. That SS300, it would lock in $300 more per month if Joe Biden make that swap from COVID to inflation. You know what? 
Uh, <laughs> you know what I pause. You know why I pause. I pause because I'm about to rant. And then I'm like, don't rant. Uh, it's really right here that I want to rant. Why? Joe Biden had an announcement this morning. What was it about? Electric vehicles. Oh, he's thinking of doing an executive order about electric vehicles. Of course he is. How about just picking up the phone call and calling in that Social Security Administration head and swap that cola for inflation? It doesn't require an executive order. It only requires a phone call. If you can sit in the Oval Office and turn on the laptop to BTS's butter, he did that. <laughs> if you can have your press team in the White House release a medley of BTS songs from butter and dynamite and, <laughs> and, and similar... Uh, on the White House's YouTube page, then you can certainly contact the Social Administration head and swap call for inflation. Reality check. <laughs> I know you're after those higher poll numbers, and they're not coming in. A new report also today says that Joe Biden's poll numbers are just as bad as Donald Trump's poll numbers at his term in office. What does this mean? When when Donald Trump was in his second year in office in uh, his poll numbers were about 39, 41% approval rating. That's where Joe Biden is right now. And they basically say, hey, if you looked at this trajectory, these numbers, because I've featured these numbers over the last few months, they haven't improved. So Joe Biden's numbers have not improved month after month, just like Donald Trump's numbers did not improve after month after month. They're all hovering at about 40% approval rating. What is the takeaway? Midterm elections. The Congress is going to get flipped. Congress is going to get flipped in some, unless there's some reality check some reality check. And that means the Democrats would not be in control of the Senate. The Republicans would be in control of the Senate. That means that the Democrats would not be in control of the House. The Republicans would be in control of the House. That means that come January 1 and a recession's hitting, who's going to give you a stimulus package? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, if the Republicans are in control in the Congress in January 2023 and a recession is fully hitting this U.S. economy because no one will be able to deny there's a recession. It won't be like Mitch when he says this, the economy is doing great. If you're in a recession, everyone's going to say recession. Will the Republicans give you a stimulus check? Will they do a recessionary stimulus package? I don't know. It's too risky to guess. And that's why you have to get this for stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get it. And I don't even know, based upon the downward spiral of this U.S. economy, if most people who are dependent upon these problem, these this, this assistance can even last to January, that's why the situation right today may be not that good, but it's going to be a lot worse in ninety days. Step one: become a member. Step two: get the Caramel newsletter Monday through Friday. Step three: go in there and get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. What's coming up later today on LR Light uh, in prime time and on afternoons? We have a lot to go over later today, and boy, is it a huge day. We have to go over why the fintech companies are really saying, you know what? Uh, we are in big problems. We are in big trouble. This is the latest part of the stock market crash of 2022 that we're going to be looking at. We're also going to be looking at why Dollar General and Dollar Tree did so well about a few weeks ago. We now know a little bit better that their price point and their consumer is the low-end consumer for getting the, the household goods. And that is why their numbers are going out of control because people don't even want to shop at the middle, the middle range. They don't even go to Target. They want to go to Dollar General and Dollar Tree for the same number, for the same products. They may be smaller uh, sample sizes, but they want to go to those stores versus five below that did not report good earnings in the last few days. We have the Federal Reserve part of the equation, as the Federal Reserve is really at issue with this new CFO report. With so many corporate heads now saying what I've been saying since February, that Jay Powell does not have the tools to get inflation down, this is a very big change of the situation. Why is this a big change? Because part of Jay Powell's strategy is to talk down inflation saying, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, hoping to bring down inflation. Well, when you have that many CFOs at major banks and major corporations saying what he's proposing is not going to work, they're basically saying, I'm not believing what's come out of his mouth. I've been saying that since February. And that means that inflation will not come down. It also means that there's good news for that SS300 because I've been saying since earlier this year 
that inflation is likely to track at 4% later this year. So if Joe Biden made that swap and call into inflation right today at 8%, you get another $200 a lifetime. And then if he makes that swap in December at 4% inflation, you get another $100 on top of that. That's SS300 a lifetime. That's all part of the equation. Meantime, tonight, we'll also be looking part of the equation of what's going on with this great news of federal debt, of medical debt not appearing on your credit report, starting in less than 30 days from now. This is a big, big, great news story. It's not cash in your wallet, but it does have an opportunity to really alleviate the financial pressures of a bad credit report. Finally, we'll be looking at the next issue, which is which checks in that Build Back Better Act will survive. The great comments from Janet Yellen last Friday was that Medicare and, Me and Medicaid are not losing money, running out of money, nor is Social Security in the next few years, rather 75 years. And with that report, there's more reason to pass the entire scope of the Build Back Better Act than ever before. Negotiations are currently underway between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer in the Senate, but we've been looking at those negotiations as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big day. Coming up next is at noontime is our check routing show. It's at noontime. We'll go over the money, when an issue, how to get it, when it's coming. It's important to understand that these checks have generally about a one-week routing time for check B, but the longer you wait, the slower it gets. Then on afternoons, we have a show at 1 o'clock and a brand new show at 3 o'clock. Then in prime time at 5 o'clock tonight, America's most loved show and most watched show for financial news in prime time, it's evenings. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, get a membership. And step three, go down that membership newsletter and apply for those checks right now because as a family and a community, we are tight right now with a relatively downward spiraling economy, but relatively still stable. 90 days from now, that will not be the situation. Stay informed and stay focused. Have a beautiful day. Always stay here. Always stay loving and stay with Ally for more.